Hey guys, Mike here, Flowback Americas, coming today from uh, not so funny, sunny Florida. But uh, I wanted to share with you uh, something we think is pretty cool, and it's uh, what we call a dedicated air terminal or pedestal. Um, more and more of you have seen them pop up throughout America and had a few questions just what it's for, uh, how it works, and uh, how, how it's going to uh, interface with your vacuum sewer system. So. Uh, I'm going to turn my camera around here and give you a quick walkthrough on um, how the Flovac dedicated uh, pedestal may help you out. On uh, It's a standard detail on all new systems um, or new valve pits being uh, installed on an existing vacuum system. And uh, it can also be uh, used to retrofit older valve pits as well. So without further ado. So what you're looking at here is the uh, Flovac pedestal. And so a uh, couple different features here. Um, you'll notice that the screws are just removed here and I'll show you why in a minute just to make it a bit easier for videoing but so typically we'd uh, install this with a new valve pit and the sole purpose or the primary purpose is there's a six inch vent uh, inside this pedestal that connects directly to the sump of the valve pit and that's to ensure the correct air liquid ratio is maintained throughout the collection system it also means that uh, no candy cane if you will or air vent is required on the homeowner's property so uh, if you're installing it with a new install we typically bury it up to this first lip here uh, you can also if you're installing it uh, say on a concrete pad you can cut the bottom section off and either tap con or uh, secure with a stake um, however you need to but the key is is that the vent inside there um, it stays above the flood level so that if the um, the valve pit is surrounded or inundated with water the upper uh, the, the vacuum system is not inundated with uh, with inflow from groundwater and when you lift the lid off one of these what you'll expect to see is a few different things and uh, not all of these are standard but um, this one has got a few of our features in it so a lot of the ones we've been putting out there have either been uh, requested either for monitoring telemetry systems and or to get the controllers out of uh, existing valve pits that are either subject to flooding, um, extremely deep where it's not safe for operators to get into the valve pit and or maybe uh, the um, valve pits in a trafficable area and the operators just want to make life easier for them to work on. So as you can see controllers front and center, plenty of room to work on. Uh, make sure you've got your hose clamps, especially on your sensor side. Okay, uh, nice big slip key there to remove the controller and work on it if needed. So that's a pretty good option, um, like I said, for those of you that want to get the controller out of the valve pit. Fairly straightforward to do. Just need three vacuum hoses running down into that valve pit and potentially, depending on your setup, a 5 8 hose uh, to allow the lower section of the valve to breathe as well. So in addition to mounting the controller here, if desired the dedicated air terminal can also house the flowback monitoring system so we can send these pedestals directly to you like this with the battery and the module mounted uh, and then you would just take the communication cable and connect directly to the flowback valve pit if it's a new install when the valve pit already has monitoring uh, installed and or we can send it with a kit to monitor any valve or valve pit that's on the market and so you can uh, use this to collect data, uh, make sure you don't have SSO events, etc. Uh, identify inflow infiltration. Uh, the options are rather endless, but anyway, I just wanted to show you what the dedicated air terminal looks like. Um, as mentioned, getting a lot of questions. There's a lot of these going out to the market, and um, for good reason too. It makes makes the operator's life a whole lot easier. But. Uh, First and foremost, on a new install, it's where we're going to put our 6 inch dedicated air inlet to the valve sump to maintain a correct air liquid ratio. It's also going to have a 2 inch conduit in there that runs to the valve upper. Um, that's probably a good point guys on new installs if you're using anything smaller than a 2 inch conduit. Just be cautious, you're not future proofing yourself. So uh, It also allows for the controller and the telemetry system as well. So. I hope that was informative for you guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, give me a call, 386-569-9125. Uh, that's Mike from Flowback, and that's the uh, dedicated terminal. Thanks.